Now that I'm in my 60s, and after 20 years of Bikram yoga practice, I never lock the knee. And to be honest, I cannot understand why I ever did. When you lock the knee, you generate tremendous tension in the knee joint, which is why so many students end up with issues with their knees in later life. All you have to do is relax the outer leg muscles and engage your inner leg stabilization strength, which admittedly does take a little bit of practice, but not a lot. Let me show you, and then I will explain exactly why this is the only way to engage the standing leg in balancing postures. Okay, let's say I was about to do standing head to knee. Exhale, boom, there I am. My leg is perfectly relaxed and straight. My knee joint is relaxed. There's no tension in my knee. There's no tension in my glutes. My glutes are relaxed. My hips are relaxed. In fact, my whole structure is relaxed. Kind of what you need for a good yoga posture. It's a relaxed structure. Learning to do that, developing that motor control, is very much like learning to ride a bike. And once you've developed that motor control, you never need to think about it again. So to develop that motor control, simply do this. Take an inhale, and on the exhale, as you lift the left leg up, or the other, the other opposite leg up, feel the femur bone kind of lift up out of the hip socket. Feel the ankle open out. Feel the knee joint open out. Feel how relaxed it is. It must, you, sometimes you need, it's a, it's a bit of a hunting game. You might want to wiggle and really find, ah, there. Because the alignment will be different for everyone. So you have to find that best alignment right there. There it is. I found my sweet spot where all the joints are pulled open. My standing leg is relaxed. If you have a tendency to hyperextend the knee back, simple. Just bend the knee and bring it back up again. There's this kind of upward energy. And again, find that sweet spot in the knee where the knee socket is opened and relaxed. There we are. Once you do that a few times, your brain will develop the muscle control to hold the leg with beautifully relaxed leg, beautifully straight. It is that simple. So let's say I was, let me do standing head to knee. So exhale, there I am. My whole leg is relaxed. Feel that femur bone open out. My glutes are relaxed. My whole body is relaxed, no tension in my structure whatsoever. Inhale, exhale, lengthen the spine, grab the foot. Take the exhale, kick out. Look, my knee is still relaxed, I can bend the knee, which in my online classes, we often do this, we often bend the knee in, in standing bow, in balancing stick, because we have the motor control. All my online students have the motor control to do that. Locking the knee disables your ability to forge the neurological connection with your stabilization strength, which you need for good coordination of the body. Your body must be like a suspension bridge that can bend and bow. Locking any joint is not good for the joint. We don't walk around like robots, so why train the body to act like one? When you lock the knee, you actively bring tension into the hips and the lower spine. Yoga is about releasing tension, not enhancing it. Trust me, if you're over the age of 50, this is the only way forward for two main reasons. One, as we age, particularly due to the amount of sitting we all do, we start losing our neurological phone lines to our stabilization strength and our movement starts to become less fluid and joint and back pain starts creeping in. But this does not happen if you keep those phone lines active. Locking the knee shuts off those phone lines. The second reason is body tension. As we age, we accumulate stress in the body as tension. We need to release tension. We don't want to make it worse. Never lock and load the body. I uncover more myths in my workshop You'll find it on our website. I will unshackle your body from all the outdated junk that's accumulated over the years. If you have any questions, ask me.
Hope to see you again soon.